Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today we're checking out the 59 Divine. Yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. So we've got the 59 Divine in the studio. Now, last week I demoed the 57 Jade. If you missed that, I will link to it above, but I've pretty much been playing this guitar nonstop since, really fallen in love with it. Now, these guitars are siblings in a lot of ways. And for Dan Electro, we've got some pretty high-end appointments on both guitars, including high quality tuning machines, real bone nuts, um, you know, double bound body on the 59, um, that Tolex binding on the 57. And of course, the main difference here is single cut versus, you know, the classic Dan Electro short horned double cut. Now, both guitars feature brand new 50s, you know, reissue lipstick pickups, um, some really cool stacked volume and tone knobs. We'll get into all of it in a second. But yeah, sort of a higher end offering from Dan Electro. So let's jump in and check it out. Now the 59 Divine is available in three different finishes, including a very cool walnut, you've got a flame top, and we've got this vintage cream. Very cool guitar, double bound body, including, you know, around the neck joint there. So double bound body with all this cream and kind of like a deep brown accent. Right, so let's hit up some highlights before we plug this baby in and see what it sounds like. Now, the first thing I noticed when I picked up the 59 Divine was how incredibly light this guitar is. So light. I threw it on the scale and it was under six pounds. It was pulling up like a 5.7, 5.8. So extremely light guitar because it is a hollow body. So we've got a frame running around the perimeter and a center block. Other than that, it's a semi-hollow. Now, despite the 59's light weight, this guitar balances really well, and that's because there's not a lot of weight up on the headstock. So it just sits where it should, and there's no headstock dive at all, which is fantastic. Now, up on the headstock, we've got a set of sealed Godo tuners, really high quality tuning machines. And if you guys remember on the 57 Jade, they were exposed gear Godos. Here, they're sealed, uh, same tuning machines, and they hold tune absolutely fantastic and that's thanks in part to the bone nut so that's kind of some upper scale you know features for a dan electro really high quality tuning machines and an actual bone nut and when we zoom in and look at it it's cut really well there's been no hang-ups when i do big bends or anything like that it just comes right back into tune now moving on to the neck we've got a maple neck and a pow ferro fingerboard and the fingerboard radius is 14 which is very flat which helps give it that dan electro feel very different for like a vintage style guitar. Now, as for the body, we've got a spruce frame running around the perimeter and a spruce center block. And sandwiching the spruce is the classic Dan Electro hardboard, which is basically like press board. We'll uh, open up the cavity and take a look at the end when we talk about the overall construction. Um, yeah, but other than that, we've got the reissue 50s lipstick pickups, same pickups that were in the 57 Jade, and I love the sound of that. We've got a fixed bridge right here, and we've got some really interesting controls. Now, when we take a closer look at the controls, you can see the 59 Divine has a really interesting design. So the top portion here is your overall volume and the bottom portion is the tone control. And you can see there's a little bump on the tone control. So if you, you know, have the volume past that bump, then you're just gonna adjust the volume by itself or the tone by itself. But when you put that little, you know, bump underneath your volume control and press down, you can actually control them together. So if you want to lower your volume and warm up your tone for, you know, a very specific sound, you can move them together or just bump that volume past the tone and you can just do them independently. So it's a pretty cool design. And then this is just a three-way switch. So we'll try it out and see how it works. So that sums up some of the highlights of the 59 Define. Of course, I will link to it in the video description below. If you want to check out all the specs, feel free to do that there. All right, so let's plug this thing in and check out some tones. I'll play some clean, some overdrive, and some distortion. Let's see what it sounds like.
So that is a fantastic sounding low output lipstick pickup. So versatile. If I play, you know, that G chord down by the 12th fret and then by the bridge, such a different dynamic. And, you know, you can even get that Dan Electro chime even on the neck pickup. <laughs> just has the right amount of sizzle and uh, and kind of bite right back there. So that's fantastic. Now let's try the bridge pickup. I'm gonna add a little bit of overdrive here and see what this baby sounds like. <laughs> Fantastic. Now let's take that tone. We're going to stay on the bridge pickup, take that tone right out and just see what that sounds like. And then when we go back to our clean channel. That is just pure Dan Electro chime attack. It's just got its own voice and nothing really sounds quite like it. So very cool tones. Now that we've taken a listen in isolation, let's throw this baby into a mix and play over a backing track. It's time for the one minute solo. All right, so let's transition into the overall construction. Now, obviously this is very important if you're gonna drop your hard earned cash on a guitar, you wanna know it's well built. And happily, I can say like the 57 Jade, the 59 Divine is made well. And as I mentioned, um, you know, it really becomes more enjoyable to play when you have high quality tuning machines and a real bone nut. You can do massive, you know, 
bends and this thing just comes back into tune. And of course that is aided by, you know, the straight string pull through the nut and the narrow headstock. So really good design. And yeah, other than that, I'm happy to say, you know, the way the neck is attached to the body, um, all the controls and stuff. And uh, this fixed bridge looks really good, looks very thick and well made. So, you know, from all, you know, just the, the main portions of this guitar looks really well made. Now really, my only gripe on the 59 Define is I wish Dan Electro would polish up the fret ends. It's one of those small things that really makes a guitar look and feel premium. And it doesn't really take any time at all. So if you're watching Dan Electro, get somebody on that assembly line and polish up them fret ends. So I'm going to take a close up shot. And as you guys can see, um, there's lots of tooling marks on the fret ends that haven't been buffed out. Uh, lots of file marks. Now, in terms of the frets themselves, uh, totally level. They're not sharp. Um, there's no fret sprout or anything like that. There's no choking out when you bend. So, I mean, the fret work is good on this, but, you know, compared to other guitars in this same price range, I think some polishing would do some good. In fact, I like this guitar so much, I polished them up myself. I just grabbed some, um, you know, sandpaper or sanding foam and just basically hit up the fret ends like this. It took me, I don't know, five minutes. And when you look at the results, I'll show you guys a close up picture. Uh, it's night and day. And because I do this to all my guitar and it's not unique to Dan Electro, I've done this on very expensive fenders too. So it's not just a problem there, but it takes almost no time and it makes a huge difference in terms of look and feel. So that's my advice get somebody polishing those fret ends. Other than that, this guitar is wonderful. All right, so now let's open up the 59 Divine and check out the control cavity. Now, as you guys can see, we've got stacked volume and tone controls, but the wiring looks well organized and well soldered. Uh, I can't see any markings on the pots, but it could be on the lower portion or on the side where I can't see it, but everything looks you know, well done and organized. Now, when we really zoom in, you guys can see that press board or that hard board top um, and that's basically what the top and back and sides are made of on Dan Electros. So happily I can say there's no construction flags for the 59 Define. The binding, everything looks really good. There's no lip where the binding and the body meet either top or side. Um, there's no flaws in the binding or you know where the binding meets the neck. Everything looks really well done. So here are my final thoughts on the 59 Define. Number one, it is absolutely awesome to see Dan Electro bringing in some higher end features for their guitars and features that actually make a huge difference, like those high quality tuning machines and that bone nut, and of course, a really great fixed bridge. And like the 57 Jade, it is top loaded. And that really gives it its zing and it's kind of like plunky attack and stuff, that Dan Electro tone and that, you know, just really sweet, chimey high end. And uh, yeah, the 50s reissue lipstick pickups are classic, low output, uh, really bright and chimey with that attack. So this definitely has that Dan Electro tone, which is what you want when you buy a guitar like this. And of course, these, uh, these controls are really fun and just kind of bring some of that Dan Electro, you know, charm and quirkiness to this design. So, I mean, overall, awesome, awesome guitar. I think it's got an incredible vibe. Happy to say it holds tune well, even under like extreme bends and all that kind of stuff. So this is a guitar you can absolutely pick up and just start gigging with or practicing with or playing in front of people, whatever. Uh, this guitar can handle it all. So happy to say overall, this is an awesome guitar. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. As per usual, all my links will be down in the video description below. You can check out the guitar, uh, t-shirt store, tab store, backing tracks, all that kind of stuff is down there. Other than that, have yourself a great day.